Ngozi Gwe. Uh, he's the author of Comprehensive Digital Marketing Guide and the Genzer's Book. It's what we will be uh, reviewing this afternoon. And he's the MD stroke CEO of uh, Digital International Limited, uh, Gens Law Data Professional Limited, and the founder of Digital Marketing Professional. And he has an MBA from Nexford University in the United States of America. Uh, he was awarded Africa Young Tech CEO of the year 2024 by the Africa CEOs Merit Award organizers and is a proficient uh, or he is proficient in artificial intelligence, robotics and smart home automation. So, I mean, that's the reason why he qualifies to be the author of this book, Genesis, and he will be getting you, you know, into the book to get to have an idea. And then when you find it quite educative and interesting, would get a copy and i'm sure you get to testify some more good afternoon to you good afternoon thank you for having John Gould. good to have you thank you so much for coming how are you i'm very well thank you how are you doing today I'm okay i'm okay uh your your profile is so robust you know and so <laughs> it qualifies you like i said to be uh, the author of the gender so, so tell me um what triggered the idea behind gender okay um, what triggered the idea about the Genesis is actually because of uh, how the Genesis, I call them the Genesis, it's actually the Gen Z. Yeah, okay. so I call them the Genesis. So the way they, you know, take things, especially on social media, yeah. right? The, the, their altercations, their behavior, and then all that, their pattern of, you know, you know, interaction was what actually triggered writing this book. Mm -hmm. So the idea behind the book was that, yes, the social media is an interesting place to be, but then you can also be making money while you spend time there. Mm. Because there are lots of them that are on social media, while in a way time, wasting their time without making any ends. Honestly. So the book is all about tips and guidelines that will help each and every social media user to be able to make side income while using social media. Interesting. So you heard it. I mean, if you're one person who just carries your phone, flip through Instagram, Facebook, uh, Facebook, sorry, and just make comments and you want to fight and throw shades, well, you might want to review that because, I mean, the times have changed. Uh, people are making millions, cashing out big time, and um, you just be shocked at the end of the day that you've been wasting your time. So, I mean, I think it's a great opportunity for us to get to learn the tricks and, you know, some of the ways that we're able to harness and cash out on social media through the book Genesis. Okay, so um, have a listen to the inspiration behind this book. Um, tell us a bit about the book. How many chapters do you have in this book um, um, altogether? Okay, total of eight chapters. Eight chapters? Yeah, okay. a total of eight chapters. All right. So we have the introduction, mm -hmm. industrial revolution, because we cannot talk about social media without talking about the re different revolutions that brought us to where we are today. Yeah. yeah. So I try to, you know, uh, take back the revolution back to the first revolution it's called industry 1.0 so i began to you know navigate to 4.0 that we are currently you know so i was able to articulate all that in the book and then we also have a, a topic that talks about the genesis yeah the genesis that's in chapter two chap that is actually chapter okay we have the introduction as chapter one mm -hmm. then chapter two is industrial revolution mm -hmm. then chapter three is the genesis Okay, we have chapter four, the world at your fingertips. Okay, so chapter four is the world at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. Chapter five is artificial intelligence AI. Yeah. Chapter six is learn a soft skill online. And it's they are all free, yeah. right? Chapter seven is crypto technology. Okay. Why chapter eight is in in dollars. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, so let's start with the introduction in chapter one. What's that all about? Okay, the introduction was actually, I tried to chronicle my background, mm -hmm. where I came from. I was trying to tell the Gen Z that, see, I was not born into a tech home, mm -hmm. neither did I have access to computers. In fact, when I was in secondary school, uh, a group of uh, uh, computer instructors came to our school, you know, uh, offering us free computer training. But because of my ideology then, ignorantly, I never knew, when, they use the word, when we finish training you, you will become computer wizard, right? Mm. So ignorantly, I was like, ah, computer wizard, I was, I was attributing it to something evil. I don't want to be a wizard. That was what made me to lose that opportunity, right? Yes, 
Yeah. yeah. So that was what made me to lose that opportunity. But after my secondary school, I now got into uh, computers. I learned different computer programs. And then at the point, I even became an instructor and then all that, you know. So I, I tried to chronicle all that, then getting to where I am that I was now very profite- proficient in computer techniques and different solutions and then all that I can now deploy computer uh, uh, related solutions to organizations and then give them support and then all that. So I try to chronicle that's my background that yes, you don't really need to be a computer guru for you to be able to make money online. Mm -hmm. All you need is to understand the different tips okay, and techniques and then you should be able to. So that was that what that is what the chapter one talks about. Yeah, Okay, so let, let me take this uh, towards the end of the chapter one. It says, you do not need to put your life, business or job on hold to be educated. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this actually came from my MBA program. Okay, mm-hmm. because you can do MBA online, you can do BSc online, you can do PhD online, right? All you need to do is to just understand what to do and they can enroll. So now, this book, The Genesis, The World at Your Fingertips, strives to inspire both the young and old. It's not just about the Genesis, right? We live in a dynamic and rapidly changing world. Every one of us must continue to learn something new every day and put it into practice to earn a living. This is because new things emerge daily. In the following chapter, we will examine several industrial revolutions that transpired before our current situation before diving into Generation Z. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. So, so that's just a portion of the introduction. Of, yeah, of the introduction. Um, and in case you're just joining us, we are reviewing the book Genesis with the author, Mr. Jumbo Igwe, this afternoon. All right. So we move on to chapter two. Okay. So chapter two talks about the, the industrial revolution. Okay. Okay, and in this industrial revolution, we have four different revolutions that have taken place. Yeah. We are in the fourth revolution right now. The first one is called uh, Industry uh, 1.0. Okay, this revolution, let me take uh, this. Okay, to be precise, what is indus- Industry 4.0? Okay, it's just try to highlight 4.0 before we even started the one. So now, the German government, through a working committee on high tech strategy, decided to coined the term Industry 4.0. Industry 4.0 encompasses a vast array of concepts that are predicated on the future transformation of businesses into ones that are more technologically advanced and interconnected. Four fundamental design principles comprises Industry 4.0. One, interconnection. Two, transparency of information. Three, technical support and then four decision making decentralization okay the subsequent chronology provides a concise chronicle of the numerous industry milestone milestones now industry 1.0 okay that was in 19 sorry in 1760 right that was when it started as mid 1700 so industry 1.0 occurred precisely at the outset of the industrial revolution it was characterized by a shift from manually operated devices to the widespread application of steam and water power to augment human capabilities water and steam power both contributed to the enhancement of human strength and endurance it is estimated that this transition took place from the mid 1700 to the mid 1800 the domain in which Industry 1.0 had the most significant impact was textile manufacturing. Mm-hmm. All right. So this is about Industry 1.1. 1. 1. 1. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then Industry 2 was, let me just paraphrase that. Industry 2 was about uh, the uh, advancement of communication and uh, transportation. Okay. okay. So that was when we had uh, that breakthrough in telegraph communication mm-hmm. and then railway network to convey uh, goods and services from one location to another further further distances right so that is what industry 2.0 is all about then industry 3.0 the term refers to the third industrial revolution which the domains affected by the industrial revolution was the application of computer automation to augment human decision making and which is where we are now this started in 2011 
yeah industry 4.0 encompasses the contemporary trend of integrating technology into various sectors including but not limited to mobile devices the internet of things and advanced human machine interfaces furthermore it encompasses obscure notions such as augmented reality blockchain technology 3d printing and cloud computing these may also be referred to as smart factories okay so yeah. this is where the ai and all the augmentation okay. technology came in okay so this is this four point industry 4.0 is what has actually made the internet not to be called global village but now a global room Mm, yeah because in your room now you have access to everything you can communicate with your with your television you can communicate with your curtain you can communicate with your ac all all your electrical appliances or electronics you can communicate with them because they are all you know automated mm -hmm. that is what uh, internet of things have done for us mm -hmm. right so you have access to all this and then you have access to the outer world education you can learn anything you can obtain certification from any organization online, online. without leaving your room mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You know, I like the way um, the transition comes in from the introduction down to tracing history, and that's one thing that has many of our Gen Zs. Nobody gets to read um, because many of them were born in the era. So mm -hmm. you just assume, hey, things have always been like that. Yeah. But I like the fact that you took the time to trace history from where it all started to mm -hmm. where we are yeah. right now, and I think it's very, very important. So um, we'll move on to the next um, chapter. Okay. Now chapter three. Mm -hmm. Now in chapter three, there is um uh, is a, a a keyword from a, a quote from Robert Katz. Mm -hmm. It says that a typical genza is a self driver who deeply cares about others, strives for a diverse community, is highly collaborative and social values flexibility, relevance, authentic authenticity, and non hierarchical leadership and while dismayed about inherited issues like climate change has a pragmatic attitude about the work that has to be done to address those issues mm. this is from robert katz mm. okay so he tries to tell us that yeah this this set of people this set of core this this is this is how they think this is how they they feel because the the genders they can actually collaborate to like you they can also collaborate to hate you okay yeah so that is how they behave mm -hmm. so if you get into their good book you are a good person but if you do the other side they, oh, so yeah. so so they are collaborative in nature so try to understand their attitude their behavioral pattern okay mm -hmm. so that is what that is what this chapter actually addresses so who is a gen z generation z also known as igen sentinels or gen z numerous demographic researchers refer to the current cohort of young people as gen z Generation Z, as defined by the Pew Research Center, encompasses individuals born in the year 1997 to 2012. The internet and social media have shaped the lives of this generation. The elders among the elder members among this generation are now 26. That was about last year when I was writing this book. Mm. Yeah, for this year now they are now 27. Okay. A significant number of them have graduated from college, entered into matrimony, and begun families. This is from Parker and Ignatius 2020. Okay. In the insider intelligence has been monitoring the characteristics, traits, values, and trends of Generation Z to generate comprehensive marketing strategies, statistics, and facts that specifically target what will soon be the most populous consumer cohort mm. okay generation z comprising 27 percent of the u.s population is the youngest most ethnically di diverse and largest generation in america history gen z was recently defined by pew research as individual born in the year 1997. the fact that generation z was raised surrounded by technology the internet social media and lead to the mechanization of them as tech dependent anti-social or social justice warriors this is from miola 2023 okay so i tried to chronicle that then i also talked about the millennials i also talked about the uh the the other um 
generation. generations and then but let me read about the alpha generation the people that are coming Hold on. Marshall, we're reviewing the Genzas, and if you're not listening to this seriously you're missing a whole lot it's a book that is very very rich authored by john bull and igwe he's the author of this um of other books like comprehensive digital marketing and of course from the sound of it you know he is very knowledgeable in this field and he's helping us understand history you know tracing history and i i really love history because i keep saying people a nation nobody can go forward if you do not keep in touch with history you need to know a bit about the past in order to navigate to the future and so um you know he's also tracing the history of the generation you talked about the gen z um, yeah. you're also talking about the generation alpha, alpha or something. Yeah. all right go ahead okay so you see the generation alpha mm -hmm. they are they are the generation that is born with ai okay they are not they are not growing with it they are born, born in it yeah so that's so, the one after gen z right? yes after gen z mm. so you, you see sometimes when i see the gen z's you know um, doing some certain things online i don't really blame them because they are on the fast lane because they are trying to finish their generation because these people that are coming after them yeah. they are going to be way way more than them mm. okay mm. so the alpha generation already generation alpha comprising individuals born after 2010 that is 2013 to 2025 is positioned to be the most paradigm shift cohort so dates alphas have not merely matured alongside technology from infancy they have been fully immersed in it during the early stages of development these children exhibit is in using voice assistance and navigating smartphones through swipe functions instead of perceiving technologies merely as instruments to facilitate task completion they regard them as intricately woven components of the daily routine mm. right mm. so this they already is already you know in them it's part of them mm -hmm. okay mm. so now let's look at this gen z is what makes them unique mm. let's try to understand some things that make them unique why there are significant distinctions among members of the gen z cohort mm. there are a few shared characteristics the gen z as the first true digital natives are extremely online in asia gen z spend six or more hours each day on their phones working shopping dating and establishing friends online mm. before making a purchase digital natives frequently resort to the internet for any type of information including news and review and reviews they switch between websites apps and social media feeds each of which serves a particular purpose in their online world because they grew up with social media, Gen Zers curate their online selves more carefully than previous generations, and they are more likely to embrace trends such as anonymity, more personalized feeds, and a smaller online presence, even as they consume media online voraciously. This is from McKinsey and Company, 2023. Okay, video sharing as Generation Z comes from uh, age, social networking uh, platforms have been a spectacular surge. TikTok currently the dominated trends, feelings, and culture for the Gen Z, who, who account for 60% of the app's 1 billion plus users. From gaming to K pop, Gen Z gravitate to internet corners where they can discuss their passion and interests with individuals who share them bonding with people they know in real life as well as those they only met online okay, okay so these are some of the unique features uh, of the Genesis. of the genesis yeah. yeah all right so we'll move on to the chapter four because we can't read everything and okay. we're working with time right yeah so let's move on okay okay in this uh chapter uh three I actually wrote a letter to the Genzas. Ah. Yeah, I think uh, oh, yeah, yeah, they may yeah. want to. They may want to. Uh, yeah, some, yeah, part, some, of part, some part of the letter. Yeah. Yes. Let's, okay. Let's okay. So I, I tagged it. I address. I say okay. Uh, from digital marketing professional, social media streets, internet, December one, yeah, twenty twenty three. Then 
to the Genzas social media highway mm -hmm. internet. Yeah, they are, because they are on the highway of the internet. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So they are Genzas. Letter to the Genzas. Allow me to introduce myself as a millennial, one of your big uncles from the preceding generation. I was one of the lucky few that escaped Generation X in a matter of months. <laughs> because of how privileged and unique you are, this letter has become necessary. As one as as of the date of writing this letter, the oldest person in your generation is 26 years old. We had an internet breakthrough in Africa particularly in Nigeria in the early 2000s. This indicates that when you were born in 1997, there was not much of an internet presence, but by the time you were finishing, by, by the time you were finished with nursery and, and presumably in primary school, you had limited exposure to the internet. This implies that you grew up with the internet. The situation was different for us and the preceding generations. We perform things manually back then with little or no automation, but in your case, you had the opportunity to grow with mobile phones and the internet. This is why I want to bring to your attention some of the difficulties that earlier generations faced before we arrived where we are today. For example, it took me only two weeks to produce this book of over 26,000 words, including the graphic design of the cover and other book metadata. This was made possible by the availability of AI tools and other resources on the internet. In the past, this would have been a year-long project because typing this book alone would have taken a typist over six months to complete after I had spent countless hours at the library researching and writing this content. Allow me to refresh your mind on what was available in the past, facts, and how fortunate you are to enjoy all the convenience and accessibility that technology provides. One, do you know that in the past, to conduct a banking transaction, you had to go to the bank branch where you initially opened your account. <laughs> Did you know that you could do online or mobile bank? You couldn't do online or mobile banking for a long time. Did you know that you could only buy an airline ticket at the airport or from a designated flight agent once upon a time? Did you realize there was a period when you couldn't shop online? Did you know that did you know that you could only hear from your loved ones in person or by writing them a letter that could take days, weeks or even months to deliver depending on their location? Did you know there was a time when you could only type official documents by the typewriting machine through a typist? So there are a lot of, a lot of facts, of facts yeah, that I stated. I'm there. sure you resonate with a lot of um, people who grew up, you know, before, just shortly before 1997 and um, growing up to where we are today. Yeah. There's a lot of improvement. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Guys, if you want to see everything contained in these letters, especially the desert, <laughs> you wouldn't have to purchase this book because he will not read everything for you. Okay, so Mr. Igwe, let's, let's move on okay. to the next chapter. So chapter four. Say, uh, talks about the world at your fingertips mm -hmm. and there is a, a saying uh, by Klaus Schwab that says that the fourth industrial revolution has the potential to empower individuals and communities as it is as it creates new opportunities for economic social and personal development but it also could lead to the marginalization of group of some groups exacerbates inequality, create new security risk, and undermine human relationship. Okay, so this is talking about every revolution that comes, especially mm -hmm. this fourth revolution, has all this. And there was also something I told the, the, the Genzas here. Now, dear Genzas, have you ever considered how much of your life you have given to social media? Every social media platform is designed to get your attention while you spend ample time on these platforms. They make money off you. For every resource you use on the internet, someone has paid for it and someone else is making money from it. 
every social media platform you use today has built a parallel money making machine in it with every click you make on the internet someone is making money from it when you use these platforms you think it is free because they are built for you to believe that they are free but you are either the service or the product mm -hmm. social media users don't pay for the product they use advertisers pay for the product advertisers are the customers while social media users are the things being sold this implies that if you are not paying for the product then you are the product do you know that everything you do on the internet is being tracked measured and recorded every single action you take on social media is being carefully monitored and recorded exactly what images and videos you stop and look at for how long you look at them these data are the products and you are the ge generator of the, those products so you are the product platform sell to advertisers have you also thought of how notifications pop up on your smartphones and snatch your attention from important tasks you are performing this is how social media platforms are built to grab your attention because your time is what generates reactions comments likes dislikes image video shares and responses to events in society your environment and even to your loved ones these are the products Mm, interesting yeah so so the, the this chapter is actually trying to tell us that see whatever we do on the internet we are enriching someone Indeed. okay now this this other page now this particular page page 45 says the algorithm of social media platform is designed to suggest the next video photo or post that will grab your attention so if you must spend your life and resources on social media it should make you some money in us dollars i think people need to hear that good because sometimes you wonder why you're thinking or talking of something or you check the video and then the next minute they're sh showing you more and more, more, and more. you know those are that, that is the algorithm and the ai inbuilt in those, in those platforms social media so as you're talking about those things they are bringing them to grab your attention mm. because it's your attention that they sell Mm. to their customers the advertisers interesting now this page we're actually coming up with a challenge from this particular page this page chapter 45 and uh, 46 now types of social media users there are three types of social media users okay so you may have to be summarizing because our time is really, okay really, really, really okay so let me just round up this and then i can go to you so now social media business promoters i call them smvp this set of users are social media uh, use social media to advertise business for growth or they promote other people's businesses and make money from it to learn more about this this is where i direct people to the digital marketing book mm. so this is for people that have business they use it to promote their business then the second set of users are the people i call social media money makers this set of users, while they are clicking, viewing photos, watching videos, commenting, posting, liking, and sharing content, are also making money through the monetization of their account. These SMMMs are the kind of users this book is designed to raise. Mm -hmm. Then we have this third set of people. Social media time wasters. TSMTW. The third set of users are those who waste their lives on social media without any form of any. They like, comment, share, view photos, watch videos, post comments, post memes, drag, drag calls, abuse people, and spend hours on social media daily with zero any. Mm. These are the people that beg for giveaways, and if they are not given, they drag you. They are the political talks and irats. They are the diehard football fans. Hashtagers, religious fanatics, and diehard music fans. Mm, mm, time wasters. <laughs> yeah. So. All right. So we move. So, 
So that is uh, about that. So then we now you, you on the other part of the chapter you now have different tips on how to monetize your account, your Facebook, your TikTok, your Instagram, and then all that. How you can now start aiming. You know those ones are step by step with photo guidelines that uh, you can follow to you know get some earnings into your social media uh, account. Mm. Then we have uh, chapter five. I can go to chapter yeah, five. Yeah, chapter yes, sir. Okay, so. Artificial intelligence, that is on chapter five. Okay. Now, uh, Fei Fei Li says, if our era is the next industrial revolution, as many claim, AI sh is surely one of its driving forces. Okay. Yeah. So now it talks about an AI tool is readily available to enhance your endeavors, whether you are in, whether you are an individual with an interest in the future of technology, a marketer. A developer or both. Remember both. Sorry. Remember that the objective is to augment the human touch rather than replace it. This is where humans are actually having issues. They think that AI is coming coming to replace us. AI is coming to take our jobs. No, AI is not coming to take our job. AI is only coming to is he simply helping us. Is augmenting the human effort. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Do you know that even in that 1900s when Industry 1.0 started, when they were using steam and uh, water, water power mm -hmm. to augment the, uh, the, the manufacturing of textile, yeah. do you know the union back then, the union of laborers, mm -hmm. protested and said, oh, this steam and water will take our jobs. They protested seriously. Mm -hmm. But today, who is enjoying it? Who is benefiting from exactly, it? Exactly, humans. Humans are the one benefiting because our work is made easier with technology. So, so, so what I get from this is the fact that we shouldn't fight these things. Rather, we should understudy it like your book is revealing on how we can utilize it for our own. Of way, course. Our optimal productivity. Our Look at all these computers you have. Yeah. You can you know set up some AI on these computers and they will make things easier for you. Exactly. Make life easier for mm -hmm. you. So these mm -hmm. tools are there to help us. I mean, I remember when we first started, we're using what you call, I've forgotten the name of that system, where we have to play adverts manually. And mm -hmm. if you miss, you're going to be sanctioned. Uh -huh. But right now, once it's time, it just plays. It just plays automatically. So I'm free from that. It makes me makes relax. Life I just easier. concentrate and I just monitor and it plays at a time. So you know? AI and robot robots are there to help the human effort. In mm -hmm. everything we're doing, there is something. In our universities, it can help us. In our medical industry, it will help us. Yeah. In everything we do, there is an AI that can help make life easier, easier for us. For us. Mm -hmm. In fact, there is even an AI that also checkmates other AIs. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. All you need is the knowledge. You know, um, uh, Tom Ford said that if you don't learn, you are old. It doesn't matter whether you are 20 years or 80 years. Mm -hmm. But as you keep learning, you are young. young you remain young. Younger. So we need to keep learning. This age, this industry 4.0 is actually tagged the learning age. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you have to keep learning. If AI is coming to take your present job, learn something else that will, that will make you relevant in exactly. the AI system. Exactly. Exactly. Those are the things this book is trying to tell us. Mm, yeah. Interesting. So yeah, that's chapter five. Yeah, about chapter artificial five. Intelligence. intelligence. Yeah. It helps to expand your knowledge and how you can use that to harness and strengthen yourself on that job, not necessarily to get you out. <laughs> yeah. Use AI and see how it benefits you more. Okay, so we move on to chapter six. So chapter know? five is actually that talks about AI is actually the longest chapter. In yes, I see that. Yeah, I, I actually see because that. I try to pick uh, I have like over hundred AI tools that you can Take Beautiful. advantage, yeah, yeah, Beautiful. yeah. Very rich. Different, business. different categories according to different categories mm. of endeavor. Mm. Mm. Then we have chapter six: learn a soft skill online. Okay. And these are all free. Every industrial revolution brings along a learning revolution, by Alexander D. Crew. Mm. Okay. So this revolution is a learning revolution. So we need to start learning. So let me just give you an overview of this: obtain certif certificates and develop soft skills through the use of free online courses offered by esteemed institutions such as Arizona State University, the Open University, IIT Karapo, IIT Kampo, and many others. You know, you can. There's a website I even put it that you can go. You see a lot of different free courses mm -hmm. that you can learn. And these free courses, if you learn these skills, you can start giving rendering services online. Mm. There are so many people. In fact, I have clients that are in America, in UK, that I give online service. I don't. I've not met them met before. Them before yes. I just give them remote service. They pay my money and then I go my way. 
right mm. so you can learn these skills and begin to render services remotely from the comfort of your that's why i said the internet is not a global room because i am working from my room i organize zoom meeting i do presentation on from my room mm -hmm. so the internet is now a global room so you need to take advantage of the internet and learn something new to become relevant it does not matter what you do even if you're into agriculture there are things that you can implement to to automate your agricultural processes mm, mm, mm. okay yeah. all right interesting so um okay um that's you just is so that a summary of um so that, that is a summary of this because the, the other ones are just different causes different free causes that you can you know learn so anyone that is relevant so you can just pick it and then mm. you can register free of charge and, and I, then, yeah. I like the fact that you know you took out the time to itemize them and then you know you go further to tell people give them an idea of exactly you know all the skills that they can take and learn. exactly okay so then then uh, chapter seven talks about crypto technology now a, a saying from a, a by of the fourth industrial revolution steam engine electricity then the microchip blockchain and crypto is the fourth so this person is just trying to tell us that see we are in the age of this is the blockchain technology mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. this is actually from web 3 right mm -hmm. okay so yeah. this has actually simplified uh, financial transactions mm -hmm. you know the decentralization of uh, you know uh, the financial market and you know that so the crypto technology is there that every detail you need to know about crypto technology is is actually articulated in this uh, chapter. chapter yeah mm. he tries to explain blockchain technology yeah blockchain technology a whole lot that has yeah to do with why is blockchain popular, popular yeah types okay. of blockchain yeah uh, okay we thought that together yeah. and then also the mining all those terminologies within yeah. that very yeah segment. sure mm. you have the block time the hard force the centralization you get to understand what all this terminology before you begin to you know put your money into this kind of uh, business you know we have different types of blockchains and all that mm. okay so maybe we can just go to the last chapter exactly okay 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 so the last chapter says in in us dollars is very very specific this is because most of these uh, online uh, uh, platforms they pay in, do in dollar yeah. yeah now see see this is my own quote here yeah. Quote by me, Jumbo Igwe. If you are from the continent of Africa, reside within Africa, utilize a smartphone, and do not earn income in US dollars, it is an error. <laughs> that is my own quote. You can quote me for that. Okay. Yeah. Jumbo, you know, the government is advocating for us to use more of the Naira. You know? <laughs> yes. But like the people I rent that business for, I'm doing the business. So they pay me in dollar from yeah, their yeah, country. From their own country. I understand the country. They pay from their country. Yeah. So when they pay me, it comes to our own uh, Nigeria yes. economy. Yeah. Okay. Right. So the, you're earning even foreign. Even business. foreign. Yeah, yes. So it's, it's a good one. But us. there are still people that myself, I, I rent that service for. The services are charged in dollar. So we just do the normal conversion. They pay me in, in Naira. Naira. Okay. Okay. That Based on the good. current uh, exchange, exchange rate. rate. So yeah. at the end of the day, whichever I'm getting Naira or dollar, I'm earning in dollar. So I try to articulate this thing so that people can really wake up because you can't just, you know, stay idle and expect money to come in. Like they are talking about minimum wage. You know, if you have a side income that is giving you some side uh, money, you won't be bothered about all this. Uh, because there is no amount of salary that will be enough. Yeah. Okay. So, but for this book, we equip you and give you those things that will make you. All you need is the interest, and then pick up the book, pick up your phone or your laptop, and then begin to do one or two. You don't need to do everything. Just so, pick out the ones. Just pick out the ones that yes, yeah, and then you can begin to end. So, in this chapter, we talked about uh, YouTube. Uh, we we'll have a. Uh, okay, we we'll have a uh, uh, more uh, more blog. You know some some different things that you can do with Fiverr. Like if you have a skill, you can actually register on Fiverr and then begin to render services. People will be hiring you. Mm. Okay, online you can be working from your room. Yeah, so Fiverr does that. GigiStem does that too. You know, different. Uh, you have Pico Workers. You know, have Amazon KDP. Like you can write a book and put it on Amazon. Like this, my book is also in Amazon, but I had to because of the price. I had to bring it down so that uh, you know because. It was a little bit expensive over there, so I had to pull it down. Mm. You know, so so you can actually write a book and ebook and put your number down be any money mm. without uh, lifting a finger, right? Mm -hmm. So you have all of these, you know, Upwork, 
uh, Spartner and then all that. So there are lots of other places you can put your work and then people can hire you mm. and then you can begin to earn. In, and then also I talked about uh, uh, affiliate marketing, you yeah. have them all here. You can register and then all you need is just, just share their resources and then you begin to earn. Mm. Okay? Interesting. Yeah. Wow. This is, um, you know, there are some book reviews that I have that just leaves me wow. And this is one of such honesty. John Book did an amazing job. Thank it's you. so rich. It's so it's so informative. It's so insightful that um, it brings to bear the saying that this is a learning era. And if you're not learning, then you're doing yourself a very great disservice. Honestly, I mean, we keep talking about the minimum wage, minimum wage. Um, yes, it's good to agitate for that, but you can also work on your personal residual income and keep earning and earning while you also push for that. And just think about the, the, the great um, advantages. So this is the book for you. If you don't have this book, you're so wrong. Honestly, you're so wrong. And thank you so much for putting this together. Thank you. Uh, right. We have um, about some minutes to go to take comments, questions, if you have any. Quickly call the number 0700-951. Double zero double zero and zero eight zero nine five nine seven four eight six nine. Send a message if you want, and um, we'll be glad to hear from you and you respond if you have a um, question. Hello. My name is Good afternoon. Welcome. And good afternoon to our guest. Good afternoon, sir. Sorry, this is the Destiny Anthony. Uh, how can we get the book? And uh, I also want to add that uh, this is on a lighter note because I love to laugh and I love being happy. Even these days, I, if it's even native doctor, they got all great to using the laptop now. <laughs> of course, they are. Yeah. You're very correct. You are very correct, honestly. <laughs> yeah. So I think we need to up our game. So I, I want to you know how to get the book uh, or the bookstore. Is it something that we can order and then they will deliver to us or something? Thank you so much. I appreciate. It. Thank you for you know putting the effort and getting this available. Okay, right. You know the way we do it here. Uh, this is my own service given to you, so that um, so Mr. John will, will give me all the platforms, address, uh, bookstores, and I'll give it to you. So send your interest if you want that. I'll take all the time to do that after he leaves, so that you guys can um, order for the book. Or call uh, whatever number he gives to me and uh, put your order. Like I said, if you don't have this book, you are very, very wrong. Hello? Hello? Hi. Good afternoon. Welcome. Yeah. Oh, please, I, I wanted to. Uh, sorry, my name is Joe from Jenny. Okay. Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. I want to ask you the uh, uh, PDS available. Why PDS? Ah, uh, because of the nature of my job, it will, it will be not quite easy for me to work with that, and that's why. Okay, Mr. John Bull. Yeah, we we'll have a PDF version. Okay, all right. There's a PDF version, and you give me the information to send across to you. So just indicate that on WhatsApp, and I'll return. Yeah, I'll respond to you. Hello. Hello? Okay. Hello, good afternoon. Dearest Jen. Well, just the people, family members to go through it. And I also want to, uh, I, I also want to uh, get the, uh, this information from the, from the author if the book will be made available. At least, let it be available so that people can. Okay. Um, like I said, if 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 you can um, indicate your interest on WhatsApp, I'll respond to that. I've said that uh, before. Of course, the book is out there, and it's okay. Well, I've sent a message in the past if I didn't get through to the right form. Okay. Okay. That's not a problem. I'll go through all the messages afterwards. Thank you. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Okay. Let's take on this one. Hello. Good afternoon. Welcome. Welcome, Stella. I'm calling from Uji. Okay. 
and I don't mind having a book to put it there. All right. You know what to do, right? Yes, please. Send me a message on WhatsApp. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome. Hello. Good afternoon. Sorry, that call cuts. All right. We also had um, a drop call there. Let's quickly read messages I've been coming in. Whoa. Wow, so many messages. Okay, um, please, I need this book. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon. And the uh, SWAT and the presenters, we've had a different type of book today that touches a lot of economic st um, strategies. Indeed, thank you so much. Good afternoon, SWAT and our distinguished guests. Please try and release your phone numbers and the price of the book before you leave. Also try and give us uh, discounts today because your customers today will certainly be massive. <laughs> Eddie from day, day don't worry. Uh, maybe we'll get a code yeah. coming from you. Okay. Do okay. Okay. Discounts for yeah, them, sure. right? Sure. All right, guys. I got you guys guys a discount. I'll give you a code. Call the number or you know um just get in touch with whichever number I'll forward to you. Tell them tell them you're from me and it will win you a discount um from this book if you're serious. Uh, let's get make this happen. Um, have welcome, Majesty. Good afternoon, and thank you for bringing this man. Please, and we get the book. I'll respond to you. I guess many of them are just asking for the book. Uh, thank you for the good job you're doing. How and where can I obtain this book? I have Igwe's number. Omeke from Bogota. Do you know anybody like that? Okay, one of your fans, too, I guess. Uh, so there are so many, 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 many interests indicated here. But let me take on this one who's calling. Hello. Good afternoon to you. Welcome. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. So, bless, and uh, I want to greet and salute the author and your guests this afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. I listened to you from the beginning to the end, but I just want you to please help me highlight the three categories of uh, social media users. You mentioned three, number two, but just go Okay, so the, the first category of uh, the social media users is the uh, social uh, media business promoter. Did you get that? Social media business promoter. Then the second one is social media money makers. Those people that make money on social media. Then the third one is the time wasters. Yes. We we'll have a lot of the time wasters all over the place. Those are the people we, we wrote this book for. <laughs> yeah. In fact, they're in the majority. So, yeah, we want to change that through this book. Thank you, Mr. Usam, for calling. All right, it's already past two. Um, I think I'll just take on two more calls and um, we'll have to round this up because we need to move to the next segment. Hello. Good afternoon. Okay, welcome, sir. We also read a fundamental issue concerning information with technology. But there's no any technology that does not have the same use as a media revolution. You can't instill people's creativity, ideas, theory in the longer. When the book is being reviewed again or you know we have subsequent edition like you said uh, that will be also considered um, I'll take on the final caller hello good afternoon good afternoon sir okay
All right, thank you, Donatus. I think I can just slip in one more call. Hello. Okay. Good afternoon. Hello, Emma from Delhi. Welcome. Okay. What? What did you say? Okay, okay. I'll, I'll respond to you. Yes, I, I will respond to everybody. I will respond to everybody. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Pauline. Thank you. I appreciate. Okay, uh, Mr. John Bull, time is not up for today, but thank you so much for this book. This is so rich. This is so informative. And it's going to change the course of so many people who are going in the wrong trajectory. I guess once they get um, you know, to read this, um, it will help a lot of people. Thank you so much for this book. Um, what will be your final words before you close? Okay, uh, my final word would be that uh, parents, uh, guidance, community leaders, they can buy this book and give it to the youth in their locality mm -hmm. to encourage them to begin to make money on their own. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, because by the time they start making money on their own, they won't be begging for handouts and then all that. No, so they can buy the, this book. is is a tool that can be used to equip a young person to become self reliant. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right. You heard it there. So, what code would you be giving for people who would um, be um, requesting this book? Okay. So just say SWAT okay. in capital letter S W A T. All right. Yeah. Code SWAT and you get you, a discount. You get a discount, yeah. Mm -hmm. I walk out the discount and then send it across to you. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. Right, uh, so all of you who have reached out to me um, on how to get this book, I'll be forwarding you the numbers and um, you make that connect and get the book for yourself if you're really serious. You would. Thank you once again, Mr. Igwe. Thank I'll you. Let you go down. I appreciate it. Um,